What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the bowling shoulder and what it should and should not be doing. Stay tuned. So one common trait in pretty much all the great bowlers is having a quiet bowling shoulder. Now we say quiet bowling shoulder, that means there's not a whole lot of movement going on. There's not a whole lot of up and down movement or side to side. Throughout that approach, that shoulder is staying pretty still the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a couple tendencies that people tend to have uh, that deter you from having a quiet shoulder. Um, a quiet shoulder. Yeah. So the first happens in the uh, push away. Yeah. Right at the beginning. So Brad. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Leave the ball there. That might get heavy on your hand. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can hold it there for too long. <laughs> okay. So we're here. All right. So when we push away, um, a tendency that happens is when people uh, push out, they let the shoulder come with it. And what this does is that it immediately like shuts down uh, your angles and your shoulders. So if you're one of those people that maybe you have a hard time projecting the ball to the right, it could be because uh, in that uh, push away, you're immediately throwing the shoulder forward and um, it's just going to make it harder. Yeah, for you well, to just initially it creates movement as well. Like if you're, st if you're starting here and the ball starts going forward and your shoulder goes with it, well, then when your ball goes back, your shoulder's going to go with it. And then when the ball gets to come forward again, your shoulder's gonna come with it. It just initially starts right. that movement that you can't control once you get it started. Yeah, and obviously we want the least amount of moving parts as possible. Yeah. That way we can repeat our shots mm -hmm. to the best of our ability. So instead of having this, so we're here and we're pushing away, instead of having the shoulder rotate forward, we want the shoulder to stay back and the arm just comes forward on the push away. Does that, does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you might wanna pay attention, like, cause if this shoulder gets closed, this left shoulder kinda get, goes that right. same, yeah. goes the opposite direction. Right. So if you're having a problem with this, you might, if you keep this shoulder forward, that might allow you to keep yeah. this shoulder back. So make sure that right shoulder just stays yeah. back through the push yep. away. Now let's, now the second spot um, that that shoulder likes to come forward and kind of closing down our angle and causing us to have a harder time projecting the ball is at the release point. So Brad, get in your finishing position. So right leg over there, there, so here. So what tends to happen is when people follow through, they like to close down their shoulder as well. They let that shoulder come forward. And when that, what that causes is if you're trying to project the ball to the right, yeah. your shoulders are closed down, it's really hard to get that ball to go this way. So instead what we want to do is when we're following through, keep the shoulder back and just let the arm come through. Yeah, it's gonna feel like at the release, the, the, the arm is more of a cup shape and the ball is getting ahead of your shoulder. Because normally, if you're having this problem, which I do, uh, you don't let that ball get ahead because your shoulder comes forward, that ball kind of stays back here. If your shoulder stays back, it's gonna feel like that ball is coming more this way and then it allows your arm just to come up forward. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm trying to throw it to the right, and my shoulders are facing here and the ball It balls, becomes really how am hard. I, how am I gonna get it over there? That's and, it. and your body will, you will try, um, but it won't be with the correct roll and it'll be impossible to no, repeat. No, it's gonna be so. hard to repeat. So yeah. Brad, let's try to put yeah, it all together let's, let's, here. So keep right. that shoulder back. So on this one, I want to keep the shoulder back. During the push away and at the release okay. point. Or it's going to allow us to project the ball to the right. Good. You know, I wasn't expecting you to make that good of a shot. <laughs> yeah. But you can see, he, kept, he, emphasis, he put his emphasis on keeping that shoulder back uh, in both of those points during the push away and yeah. the release point and allowed you to just nice and effortlessly project that ball. Yeah, and if you're bowling on a pattern that it, it kind of forces you to send it to the right and you're not doing it very well, pay attention to that shoulder, man. It, it really, really can help you. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Remember, keep that shoulder back uh, and during the push away and release point, especially if you're having some issues projecting that ball to the right. And if you guys haven't done so already, head on over to our Patreon, head on over on our Instagram on social media and insidebowling.com for our merchandise. Thanks for watching, guys.